Hi again, everybody. Just thinking more about the turning the everything upside down. Now look at, you know, what a great thing to do to keep everybody tricked is to put everything upside down. Now, if you look at the way our vision works, what we think we see, it goes into our mind upside down because uh, our lenses and our eyes flip the object. So really everything that they have upside down, we don't see, but it's going into our mind. Our mind sees it all. It, our mind doesn't even see the stuff that we think that we see probably. So everybody needs to start exposing all of that. If everybody starts flipping everything upside down and then it's not hidden anymore. Everybody's gonna know how they do it. Can fight back without even having to use any violence at all. Just expose all of their lies. Like it tells us to, like scripture tells us to do in Ephesians. And I forgot what number it is, but to expose the evil, bring it into the light. And I mean, if that's too hard for people to do, to just flip some stuff over and start exposing all these creeps everywhere, they know what they were doing. Just think what they do on TV then. If we're actually, we need to, whew, that's some, a lot of technology right there. It's a lot more than just a painting or a drawing that goes into our minds. Who knows what's going in there? That's why I try to stay away from it. I do still watch some movies sometimes. I do it more like I'm watching out for stuff though, you know trying to pick it apart and I don't even like doing that I don't even like being in front of the TV when they're on because I know that just the pulses of the light and the what it puts off is just terrible for us and everybody's got huge big screens on in their house so that's gotta everything just works against us they, this whole system is set up to bring us down literally if you have not told Jesus that you believe that he is real and that he died for your sins, just tell him you, you know, you read it. It says it in the Bible that that's his promise. If you believe in him, then you will be saved and have eternal life. Repent from your sins, which means changes your, change your mind about the things that you get convicted of after you're saved and I mean, you don't want to do bad things anyways some people do I'm not talking to them Jesus will change you all you have to do is tell them that you don't want to do something and even though if you keep doing it for a little while he's gonna make you feel like you and then you you will just quit quit doing it it's not you he changes us I'm telling you you don't have to believe me, but he changes us. You can think that you're going to be good and do everything on your own and come on. He'll change you. He'll save you. It's all part of the package. And then he'll give you eternal life. It's all for free. All for free. Unlike Lucifer, Satan, the dragon, whatever you want to call that loser, where he has to steal and trick and lie about everything. So, anyways, looks like she probably just got back from chasing some deer. She's been gone a little while. <laughs> okay. See ya. Love ya. Bye.